everybody today i wanted to talk to you about a whiteboarding tool really simple straightforward um, that could be used for demonstrations or uh, drawings doodling those sorts of things so we're going to go to chrome canvas and there it is the first one that pops up if you wanted to go directly it's canvas.apps.chrome and this is um made by google but it is not going to be located in your G Suite apps. So to get to it, you would type in that URL or bookmark it once you've been there. But it's a really straightforward uh, whiteboarding tool. Here's a couple of boards that I've played around with. But if you want to create a new drawing, you click new drawing there. And then you get some basic tools. Um, you have the color palette, and you can customize. You have the, um, the size of the pen tool and the opacity. You have a pencil, there's the pen, this is a marker, you have chalk, and then this is the eraser. But it's really pretty basic. I'm gonna use the pen tool. If I um, wanna do a demonstration for students, you could imagine um, you could be using Screencastify over the top of this like I'm doing right now. You could uh, also be using, uh, you could be in a Google Meet right now and demonstrating some things. So. Uh, I'll just kind of show you how this works. Drawing my rectangle in here. Um, maybe I'm doing a demonstration on uh, perimeter and area. And I can put in some labels. Uh, I might have perimeter down here and area here. And so it's really just a basic uh, tool that you can use to um, do those types of demonstrations. Uh, it's, it's kind of a fun one to play around with, uh, just kind of seeing what the other tools do. You can see the chalk has that effect. Um, the marker's a little bit of a thicker tool. I use the pen, the pencil's on the lighter side, but it's a, it's a great drawing tool. And um, again, really basic whiteboard. It is a one-way tool. You can't have others come in and collaborate on this, um, but uh, it, it's, its basic function works pretty well. When you're done, you can save things as images and it will download to your machine. Like I said before, it does not integrate with Google Drive, but um, when you hit that home button, it does save all of your uh, Canvas drawings. Chrome Canvas does have the ability to allow you to add an image to the background and then annotate over the top. So in order to do that, you would go up to new from image You'd navigate to wherever that image is. And so I'll use this example here. I have a math sheet, four digit division. And so now the worksheet is in the background here and I can use my tools uh, to begin to demonstrate how to solve this problem. Um, so you can see uh, there's lots of ways that you can get different content in here as long as it's an image and then you can write right over the top. So hopefully this video has helped you understand some of the features of Chrome Canvas. Really, you know, my suggestion is to just get in there and play around with the tools and um, see what it can do. But again, think about using this as a, a flipped lesson using Screencastify as you go through the problems or as you go through a demonstration or even live uh, in a Google Meet. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.